Hey, we have here today another interesting integral from MIT Integration B 2010. This one was problem five. We have the integral from zero to one sine squared ln x dx. Okay, and we have ln x as the input to our trig function. I'm thinking two things. I think it makes me think of um, u substitution and integration by parts. And I think what I'm going to do is actually use both for this. So let's start with the u substitution first. We want to take care of this or do something with it. So I'm going to make my u equal to ln x. And then just solving for x, we're gonna have x equals uh, e to the u. Now let's take a derivative here. So for dx, we're gonna have just e to the u du. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make this substitution first. So plugging a one in here, natural log of one is gonna be zero. Okay, and when natural log, and then plugging a zero in, natural log is zero, that doesn't exist, but that happens when u is approaching minus infinity. Notice if we use this equation, e to the minus infinity, when e is going to minus infinity, x is going to zero. Okay, then we'll plug all this stuff in. So we're still gonna have, we're gonna have sine squared, natural log x is u, and our dx is this thing. So we're just gonna have e to the u du. And now I think it's the place where we wanna use integration by parts. I'm gonna use the di method. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna integrate this piece and differentiate this piece just because I feel like it. So we're gonna set up our di table or uh, tabular integration. So differentiating sine squared u and integrating e to the u. I'm gonna create a couple of rows. So let's see, so first integrating, let's just integrate first, this is easy. So integrating e to the u is just e to the u, e to the u. Differentiating here, we're gonna have two sine u, then chain rule cosine u. But you notice this is the same thing as sine of 2u, so I'm just going to rewrite this real quick as sine 2u. Then differentiating again here, this is going to be cosine 2u, but we need to pull a 2 out in front. So that's a value we have. So these diagonals will be part of the solution. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just factor this e to the u out and write this as uh, sine squared u minus sine 2u. In this piece, again, we're evaluating from minus infinity to zero. And then this row is gonna be an integral, so I'm just gonna write this again. My pen's getting dry here. Maybe I should replace that. So we're just gonna have two cos two u e to the u. Now let's look at what happens here before we do anything else. So when we plug a zero in here, sine at zero is zero. So this piece is zero, but sine of two u is still zero. Okay, so the whole zero part goes away. Then when we plug a minus infinity in, well, let's not worry about this part, but when we plug minus infinity into E here, this is going to zero again. So we can ignore, this whole part is going to zero, and we can just kind of eliminate that from the discussion. And so what I'm gonna do is clean this up and we're just gonna look at integrating this piece right here. Sorry, I forgot my DU. Okay, so now continuing with the integral that we found in the last board, I just got all that other stuff out of the way because it's all zero and it doesn't do anything for us. But what you'll notice is this is actually a perfectly good place to continue with integration by parts again. Um, we could have actually just kind of continued with the table, but I just wanted to clean it up. But we're just going to do our integration by parts table and continue on where we're going to differentiate 2 cos 2u and integrate eu. Okay, so continuing with this, I'm going to integrate. We just did this, so that's going to be eu, eu. Then here, then differentiating this, we're going to have, this is going to be a minus sign 2u. Pulling a 2 out, we're going to have now a minus 4 here. Then doing this one more time, we're going to have cosine 2u pulling a 2 out. Now we're going to have minus 8 here. And then doing the same thing we did previously. Okay, so we're going to have some of our answer right here. So let's write that out. We're going to have, I'm just going to factor out an eu because we have it in both terms. And then we're going to have 2 cosine 2u. Um, and then here, minus times minus is plus. So we're going to have plus 4 sine 2u. And then here, this piece is going to be an integral, just this row here. So here we have a minus 8 integral of cosine 2u eu du. And the thing I want to notice is this is our repeating integral case, okay? Because notice this is essentially, because notice this is exactly what we have here. What I'm going to do to make it exact, let's get this 2 back in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 8 and I'm going to write it as 2 times 4. We'll just put a 4 right here. So now it's exact. Now, what I'm gonna do, we'll call our integral here i. This is the thing we wanna find, right? Because this is the same thing as this i right here. But then this whole thing here is also i. 
and we have minus four of them. So what I'm gonna do is we'll add, we'll add a four i, okay, on both sides of this equation. So just to make it clear, four i and plus i, we're gonna have five i equals um, this part right here. Okay, so just having copied that part down, we have five copies of the integral is equal to this, and we're evaluating it all from uh, minus infinity to zero. But then let's just get it so we have, we want this isolated in terms of i, so let's divide both sides. We'll divide both sides by five. So then this is just i, and this is what we want to find. And now let's just evaluate this thing. So evaluating this, I think I'm gonna just pull a one-fifth out front to try to make it easier on myself. Okay, so plugging in is zero. Cosine at zero is gonna be one, so we're gonna have two uh, plus, then here sine at zero is zero, so we're just gonna have a two for the first part. I may have skipped over it, but e to the zero is one, so that's why I kind of glanced over that. Okay, next evaluating this at minus infinity. Well, it's kind of a problem with the trig functions, but if we plug minus infinity in for e, e to the minus infinity is what we found earlier. That's just approaching zero. So all we need to do to finish it off is just multiply two times one fifth, and we get our final solution of two over five. So that's it, integration by parts, MIT 2010 problem five. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.